Hidden beneath the NHL's flashy facade lies a darker underbelly that is beginning to grasp the league. Gambling. Where there was once Coach's Corner, there are now the DraftKings picks of the week. Massive increases in the number of gambling ads, unexplained suspensions, and players losing everything they own are just scratching the surface of this beast. In 2016, NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman said, quote, Gambling does not have a place in our family-friendly game. But that was before critical Supreme Court rulings that legalized sports gambling in North America. Fast forward to today, the relentless onslaught of gambling ads have infiltrated every crevice, from arena boards to player equipment. It seems like everywhere you turn, there's another ad telling you to place just one more bet. And we see the ads grooming children and youth become lifelong betters. Not to mention the influence on players. Take for instance the case of Shane Pinto. Suspended 41 games for violating the league's gambling rules. The first such suspension in NHL history. But here's the real kicker. Commissioner Gary Bettman assured that there was no evidence of Pinto betting on NHL games. And the league shared advice, quote, not to share gambling accounts or joke with friends about odds or prop bets. What could have just been some offhand jokes about gambling was enough to tarnish Pinto's reputation and is raising some serious questions about the league's ability to enforce policy consistently. The NHL has also been quietly increasing the data it provides to the gambling industry amid the expanding sports betting market. This trend aligns with a broader global phenomenon where sports leagues are increasingly intertwined with the gambling sector. DraftKings has become an authorized sports betting operator for the NBA. The official sports betting partners of the NFL. The allure of potential profits has prompted the NHL to collaborate with sportsbooks, signing major deals with BetMGM and FanDuel. This is actually a recognition of what the state of the world is. However, this integration isn't without its concerns. Advocates like P.K. Subban's father, Carl, have spoken out against the NHL's endorsements. I just don't like the tsunami of, of sport betting ads that they're faced to sit through uh, throughout these hockey games. With the recent introduction of the Vegas Golden Knights, you have to wonder what role they are playing here. The famous Bellagio Hotel in Vegas was used during the playoffs, and a tight-knit deal exists between the Knights Arena with properties owned by casinos. MGM Sports and the Vegas powerhouse MGM Resorts are part of the same corporate conglomerate. This slide from a 2017 earnings report shows how the corporate giant has a large holding in the T-Mobile arena, which makes it seem more likely that the introduction of the Knights may have tipped the scales. Many NHL arenas boast in-house casinos, raising questions about the fine line between entertainment and the endorsement of gambling within the sport. Moreover, the league's large 50-50 draws, often marketed for charity, carry the added incentive of gambling-like excitement. <laughs> Look at the jack. <laughs> it happens, you know. And what about the players themselves? With their multi-million dollar contracts and high-flying lifestyles, it's easy to forget that they're just as vulnerable. In January of 2021, Evander Kane filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy, where he claimed he had lost one and a half million dollars on gambling in various forms. Something that helped create some of these issues uh, that I had to deal with through the course of my life. Is it a problem? Is it an addiction? It's, it's, sometimes it's hard to decipher and there's different reasons at different points um, through a number of years I was doing it. Uh, you learn, you understand about why you did those things or why you made those decisions specific to gambling. And um, it's something I've worked on and uh, it's something that uh, is no longer a part of my life. The NHLPA offers hotlines and support for players to access support for dealing with addiction. But you really have to ask how much this means when the NHL is constantly signing new deals with sports books. Even if you barely flinch at the barrage of gambling ads, the culture is becoming inseparable from the rest of the sports talk as every panelist discusses their pick for the game. Time now for the FanDuel same game power parlay and our guy Brandon in research is trying to pay off his mortgage tonight apparently. Look at this. <laughs> With every flashy neon sign and catchy jingle, the line between entertainment and exploitation blurs until it's no longer a harmless pastime, but a dangerous addiction. And if you're addicted to my videos, you should consider subscribing for more content like this. Catch you in the next one.